Hello, welcome to Declutter and Streamline Your Life 101, where everything in here is good stuff, but guess what? I don't need a welding helmet anymore. So, pretty much, I cleaned out this whole house, the whole attic and everything when I moved in this house, but now, all this is going, and this is just the first of many loads of Streamline Your Life. Right, Christopher? Uh. Hey, hey, welcome to my messy kitchen today. I want to tell you this right quick. First of all, do you want to know how to make these, which are going to be like little tortilla scoop chips? Look at this. Munch, munch, munch. Can't you just, you have to see the crunch, but look at this too. It's like the ultimate bottom for a pizza, any kind of gigantic salad with a sauce. It's not wanting to focus good, but do y'all see? Look how sturdy that is. I want to tell you what is in that. I mean, look, it's it's very durable. The whole thing, this also, this made this gigantic one, which is, I mean, huge. My hands are enormous like a basketball player. Do y'all see how big that is? Okay, and then it made about 12 of these scoops, which I'm going to tell you how to make. Plus, they look like stars. Aren't they cute? Look how cute that is. Look, it's very, like, very durable. Okay, so what you did, in your high-speed blender, you had six cups of raw corn. If you wanted to use frozen corn, make sure to thaw it out first and then put it in there and start on slow and then kick it up, okay? So six cups of corn. Two tablespoons of your Cajun seasoning. This is from Frontier. I got this at um, Whole Foods for a couple dollars. And then the whole recipe had two tablespoons of chia seeds. You blend all that together, and then you came over to your dehydrator, and what you want to do, let me turn the light on so I can show you something. I'm sorry, I'm, I, say, sometimes I'm not prepared to make a video, but yet I have to show you. So what you would do for the scoops is you would pour those on about, um, let's say, a grapefruit size round, okay, so pretty big, on your, your Teflex sheets, which are these, or parchment paper if you don't have this. So you pour that on there. Do as many as you can on the tray. Then, for your big tortilla or crust, you're gonna basically just pour it out in the middle, smooth it out, leave it about a half an inch thick, okay? When you can, put, it, put your dehydrator on about 105 to 108. When you can, pull it up like this, and you see that you can kinda of get it off. Take it over here to the sink, okay? And then you're pretty much gonna take Take the whole sheet underneath, okay? And then you're gonna flip it over. And then you're going to peel back the sheet, revealing the air holes. Therefore, both sides can get done and it can become this crispy fabulousness, okay? Now, for, for these little scoops, what I did is I had some of these which are supposed to make some kind of tortillas. My mother was throwing these away um, in the oven, but what I did was after I had put the grapefruit slice size pieces, okay, on the parchment paper, just like I told you, when I could kind of peel those up and they were still slightly pliable, what I did was I put them down into the bottom of this, okay, and these usually come with four. I think you can get them at like Walgreens or Walmart for pretty cheap. Anyway, and then I kind of formed, just barely pushed them because the heat's going to make them kind of lay down in there. And then I pretty much just took out one of my trays, you see, Therefore, as I have those in there, I could just slide them in. Do y'all see how that's working? So, quite a genius. I, I know you're impressed. That's just something different, but it's just me trying to, you know, come up with new ideas and make, like, Christopher was like, well, it'd be nice if you could make scoops because he likes those scoops tortillas. And I thought, huh, I know there's a way to do that. So, there you go. These. So, anyway, I'm going to be putting on a mammoth amount of spinach and probably some, um, this little sauce which I had on something earlier, which is nothing more than lemon, a little bit of black pepper, um, a little bit of celery, and a orange, no, a yellow bell pepper. So I'm going to smooth some of that on, put a lot of my spinach, and basically that whole recipe, all, of, all the scoops I just told you, which I gave him a few of those earlier, and this giant only has two tablespoons of chia seeds, so you were talking about very low fat, 
on, on the whole, if you ate all the chips, you know. But my point is with the dehydrator is use a lot of raw veggies and raw greens and a lot of water. And, you know, I'm not going to sit here and eat this whole round. I'm probably going to have half of it. And, um, yeah, so that way you can feel good every dang day. So, anyway, back to your regular regular day. I just wanted to interrupt you for this, this public service announcement. Oh, and on top of that, I just diced up little red peppers and pushed those on top because, well, I thought it was cute, and it's, it's cute, right? So... Did you want to have a bite? Dun 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 dun. <laughs> See you later, alligators. Christopher loves to clean out the attic and the closets. Look at that. <laughs> to turn the music up and really mentally take inventory of yourself like typically I notice that men in my life that that ebb and flow or come and go they love to have a checklist of what I'm supposed to be but here's the thing I'm thinking can we turn the lights off here's the thing I'm thinking can we just um, change it over to the tanny list okay you know, it's like men love to put you in a box. Do you check off all the things on their list? And if not, they'll throw you away. Here's the thing. Do you check my boxes, you know? And if you've got a man that's 45 to 50 years old sending you messages like, hey, hit me up. What the heck? Like, <laughs> I'm sorry. That should not be a source of my comedy, but it is, okay? <laughs> <laughs> and you know what that what y'all don't understand is the funniest part of my life is these kind of topics and I'm gonna start having a whole playlist of that you know see that's real content right there <laughs>